I told you that being prepared is no joking matter. I'm going to ask. I, I, I'm not trying to be facetious. I'm asking you to, to hear this pastor like you've never heard any preacher in your life now. Because many of your souls depend on it right now. Folks, it's time to take the word of God seriously. God means what he says. But I honestly believe that God looks down on a church that's fast asleep. He's looking down right now on a church that is unconcerned about his soon coming. The church no longer is intimate with Christ, no longer dependent wholly on God, dependent on the Holy Spirit, but running around with schemes and plans and dreams and networking and strategizing and committee meetings, trying in the flesh and sweat, trying to make it rather than depend on God, Almighty God. The church doesn't need anything else but God Almighty on His throne. And now, for the sake of unity, compromise, in comes the gospel of prosperity and the good life. I have to stay on my knees like I did this past week, get low with God and just walk and cry and scream. Oh God, break my heart. Oh God, don't let me get addicted to the easy life. The desire for things, that's why the Lord says, don't set your heart on the things of this world. But set your heart on me, Jesus said. I will be your life. And there's a thought that says, Oh Lord, one of these days, this is all going to burn. This is not my life here, Lord. Thank you for this piece of furniture. Thank you for my car. Thank you for the finances you're supplying. But oh God, it's all going up in smoke very soon, Lord. You're my life. When you have time for friends, for family, for relatives, you have no time to dig into the Word of God. You have no time to pray and seek the face of God. And you tell me Christ is your life? But multitudes today are being saturated with your okay messages. I don't care who doesn't pray, I'm going to pray. I don't care who doesn't read the Bible, I'm going to read my Bible. I want nothing to do with it. And I cry, oh God, where are the voices? Where are the people? The cry out against the, where are the praying people? And I say, God, whatever it takes, whatever it takes, keep me on my knees. And I was in anguish. I was in anguish four blocks from here on Broadway. Weeping and crying and wailing. I was feeling God's pain for a lost city. He's going to show you the condition of his church. He's going to show you the condition of your own heart. And he's going to ask you a question. What is it to you? How can you tell me that you love him and you're ready to go and you neglect him day after day after day? Don't tell me you're going. You're not going. You're going to be left behind. God's promised if you will wage war against every sin. God's promised if every desire that's contrary to Christ, I'll be with you. I'll go before you. Every desire that's Christ, I'll be with you. I'll go before you. But folks, the man who really wins the battle, the man who's ready to face anything that the devil throws out of hell, is the man or woman that's been studying God when there's no crisis, when everything is well, when there seems to be blessing and prosperity. That man is diligent before God and seeks his face. A praying man is as bold as a lion. There's no demon, there's no devil in hell that'll scare him. What God desires more than anything, and I think what blesses the heart of God in heaven, is that those in their good times when all is well, they're not parked in front of a television set watching some filth. They're not foolishly laughing at some program. They are taking special loving time alone with God. They're praying for their families, building up faith for the hour of tribulation. They're seeking the face of God. And your family is in trouble if you're not a praying man. No amount of preaching, no amount of teaching, no amount of counseling, nothing going to get through to you, nothing going to do the job until you yourself get on your face before God and lay hold of heaven. Keep us on our face. God, keep me broken. 
God, keep this church broken. God, don't let us sit back on a crest of blessing and get lazy and see disorder come again to this house. We don't just want crowds. We want your glory in this house, oh God. We want your glory and your power. I tremble at your word. Let us tremble this morning that it's possible for godly men and godly women who once prayed, who once had such an anointing to finally lose it this day of temptation when all hell is breaking loose. God, help us determine I will seek God. I will seek God with all my heart and all my soul and all my strength and all that's in me. Folks, God has a plan He's working on. You can't see it. I tell you, if you knew what God had in store for you, if you seek Him, you'd be so rejoicing you couldn't contain yourself right now. But that's not going to happen if I don't seek Him. I can abort that whole plan and end up in disaster and ruin. Right now, you set your heart. Here's your prophetic word from heaven. If you seek me, you'll find me.